Did you know NASA discovered that some ordinary houseplants can actually remove up to 87% of indoor air toxins in just 24 hours? That means the same plant sitting quietly in your living room could be acting like a natural air filter. Curious which plants really work, and why NASA tested them in the first place? Stay tuned because today we're revealing the top 5 air purifying plants backed by science. Welcome to Green Life Zen. We're here to help over 45,000 subscribers create healthier, greener homes with simple, science-backed solutions. And today's topic is something close to our hearts and lungs, clean air. Now this isn't one of those internet myths that just sound nice. In fact, the plants we'll cover today were tested in the famous NASA Clean Air Study, originally designed for astronauts living on space stations. If a plant can keep the air breathable in space, imagine what it can do in your home. Stick around because I'll show you exactly which toxins each plant removes, how easy they are to care for, and the best spots in your house to place them so you get the maximum health benefits. So why did NASA even bother studying houseplants in the first place? Back in the late 1980s, scientists were looking for natural ways to clean the air inside space stations, where every breath counts. They found that certain plants don't just produce oxygen, they can actually pull harmful chemicals out of the air and trap them in their leaves, roots, and even in the soil microbes around them. The study focused on five common toxins, formaldehyde, benzene, trichloroethylene, xylene, and ammonia. You may not recognize all those names, but here's the catch, they're already inside your home. Formaldehyde comes from carpets and furniture, Benzene can be in paints and plastics and even cleaning supplies can release xylene and ammonia. Think about it, every time you breathe indoors you could be inhaling trace amounts of these chemicals. That's why NASA's findings matter, not just for astronauts but for anyone who wants cleaner, healthier air at home. In fact, one study showed that simply adding plants to a sealed room improved air quality enough to reduce headaches and fatigue. And that's something we can all benefit from. First up is one of my personal favorites, the snake plant, also known as Sansevieria or mother-in-law's tongue. NASA ranked it among the top 10 air purifiers and here's why. It can absorb toxins like formaldehyde, xylene, toluene, and even nitrogen oxides which are often found in cleaning products, paints, and exhaust fumes. But what makes the snake plant truly special is that, unlike most plants, it continues to release oxygen at night. That means it's one of the best plants you can keep in your bedroom. Imagine breathing fresher, cleaner air all night long while you sleep, that's exactly what this plant can help with. Care-wise, it doesn't ask for much, just water it every two to three weeks and let the soil dry out between waterings. It's incredibly tough, some people even joke you'd have to try hard to kill it. Low light? No problem. Forgetful with watering? It still thrives. Personally, I keep three snake plants in my bedroom, and I honestly notice I wake up feeling more refreshed. If you want a starter plant that practically takes care of itself while giving you cleaner air, the snake plant is the way to go. Next is a plant that's almost impossible not to love, the spider plant. With its long, arching green and white striped leaves, it's not only beautiful but also a superstar at cleaning the air. According to NASA's research, spider plants can remove toxins like formaldehyde, xylene, and even carbon monoxide. In fact, Tests showed they could remove up to 95% of formaldehyde in just 24 hours. That's a serious detox for your indoor air. Another big bonus? They're completely non-toxic to pets and kids. So if you've got curious cats, playful dogs, or little ones running around, this plant is a safe choice. Caring for spider plants couldn't be easier. They like bright indirect light and all they need is a light watering about once a week. Even if you forget now and then, they're very forgiving. And here's the fun part. They love to make babies. Those little spiderettes that dangle from the main plant. One spider plant can quickly turn into 10, which makes them perfect for gifting to friends or filling up your home with more natural air purifiers. For placement I recommend putting them in the living room or kitchen, where the air often gets heavy from cooking or household products. It's a cheerful, family-friendly plant that doubles as a natural air cleaner. Now let's talk about one of the most elegant houseplants out there the peace lily. Don't let its delicate white flowers fool you, this plant is a powerhouse when it comes to cleaning indoor air. NASA's study showed that peace lilies can remove all five of the major household toxins, ammonia, benzene, formaldehyde, trichloroethylene, and xylene. 
That's basically the complete air purifying package in one plant. Peace lilies thrive in indirect light and like their soil to stay moist. They also love a bit of humidity, which makes them perfect for bathrooms or laundry rooms where the air is often damp. Just keep in mind they're sensitive to overwatering, so it's best to keep the soil slightly damp rather than soggy. Now here's an important note. While they're safe for humans to be around, peace lilies are toxic to pets if eaten. So if you've got cats or dogs that like to chew on leaves, you'll want to place this plant somewhere out of reach. A bonus benefit? They bloom indoors, bringing a fresh, peaceful energy to your space. Their white flowers stand as a natural symbol of calm and purity, so they don't just clean your air, they also make your home feel more serene. Next on the list is the bold and beautiful rubber plant, known for its large, glossy leaves that instantly make a statement in any room. But this plant isn't just about looks, it's especially effective at removing formaldehyde, one of the most common indoor air pollutants that comes from things like new furniture, flooring, and adhesives. NASA highlighted the rubber plant as a top performer for tackling toxins from off-gassing, which is that invisible release of chemicals when new products enter your home. If you've ever unboxed new furniture and noticed a new smell, that's often formaldehyde and this plant helps fight it. Caring for a rubber plant is simple. It loves bright, indirect light, and prefers to dry out a little between waterings, so check that the top inch of soil is dry before giving it a drink. It's a fairly low-maintenance plant once you get the hang of its routine. For placement, it shines in living rooms or offices, not just as decor, but as a natural air purifier. And here's a pro tip. Give those big leaves a gentle wipe once a month with a damp cloth. Dust-free leaves work harder at absorbing toxins, and keep your plant looking as vibrant as possible. Finally, we have the lush and leafy Boston Fern. This plant is more than just a decorative hanging basket, it's actually one of NASA's top plants for removing formaldehyde. In fact, it ranked as one of the very best when it comes to scrubbing this chemical from the air. It also helps reduce xylene, a toxin found in many household products. But Boston ferns offer an extra bonus, they naturally increase humidity in the air. That makes them a wonderful choice if you live in a dry climate or use indoor heating and air conditioning that dries out your home. They're especially soothing for people who deal with dry skin or respiratory irritation. Caring for a Boston fern does take a little more attention compared to the other plants we've covered. They love high humidity, consistently moist soil, and indirect light. A bathroom with a shower or a spot near a humidifier is their happy place. Yes, they're a bit fussier than snake plants or spider plants, but the payoff is worth it. With their soft, arching fronds, they don't just purify your air, they also bring a touch of classic, natural beauty to your home. Now that you know the top 5 plants, the next question is, where should you put them for the best results? According to NASA's guidelines, the sweet spot is one plant per 100 square feet of living space. That means a medium-sized home could benefit from 10-15 well-placed plants. The key is to position them near the sources of indoor pollution, like new furniture, carpets, printers, or cleaning supply storage. Here's a simple room-by-room -room guide to make it easy. Bedroom. Keep a snake plant by your bed. It gives you fresh oxygen all night long. Living room. Place a rubber plant and a spider plant where the family gathers most. These handle off-gassing and everyday air toxins. Bathroom or laundry room. Add a peace lily or Boston fern, since they love humidity and help with chemical vapors. Office or study. Any of these plants work here, but spider plants and rubber plants are especially good for keeping the air fresh while you work. By spreading them throughout your home you're not just decorating, you're building a natural air purifying network. Of course, even the best air purifying plants need a little care to do their job well. The good news is, most of these are easy to look after once you know a few basics. First, light. Almost all of them prefer bright, indirect sunlight. Too much direct sun can scorch their leaves, while too little light slows down their growth. Second, watering. The golden rule is to check the soil before watering. Overwatering is the most common mistake. If the top inch of soil still feels damp, wait a bit longer. Remember yellow leaves often mean too much water, while brown, crispy tips usually signal too little water or low humidity. Third, maintenance. Once a month, wipe down the leaves with a damp cloth. Dust blocks their ability to absorb toxins and can make them less effective. Also rotate your plants occasionally so they grow evenly on all sides. With just a few minutes of care each week, 
these plants will stay healthy and keep working for you, quietly cleaning your air day and night. So, which of these NASA-approved plants will you try first? Are you leaning toward the tough and low-maintenance snake plant, or maybe the lush Boston fern? Let me know in the comments below, I'd love to hear which one excites you most. And while you're there, share your biggest air quality concern at home. Is it traffic pollution, new furniture smells, or just wanting to breathe a little easier? Your answers might inspire the next video. Don't forget to subscribe for more science-backed green living tips, and hit the bell so you don't miss next week's episode. We'll be diving into the mental health benefits of gardening, and trust me, you'll want to see that one. Remember your home should be more than just a place to live, it should be your sanctuary. And with just a few of these air purifying plants, you can make that sanctuary cleaner, healthier, and even more beautiful. Clean air, better health, and natural decor, that's the Green Life Zen way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Thursday, with another tip to help you live greener and breathe easier.